Welcome back to another video. Today we are in the Open Ultra League and we are running the Shadow Charizard with Registeel and Verizian. Let's see how this team works out here. Now, this is a kind of a um, neutral matchup. We were trying to catch a move, but they decided to just switch out into the Gliscor. So this Gliscor here is uh, relatively decent against our backline. So we're going to stay in here and just either chip away at this thing or try to get some shields because um, we can take care of the Polyrath with our Verizian or possibly our Reggie's deal with some energy. So we're just going to stay in here and we're going to we're going to see what happens here. We know we can um, probably survive this nice slash and then now we're just going to apply the pressure and see if we can get to a blast burn. This either gets this last shield or possibly KOs and perfect. So we do still maintain um, the switch. And then now we're just going to immediately switch out. They're going to be throwing a Ice Punch here. This is for a Shadow Polyrath. So this Polyrath is going to be able to get to um, multiple Ice Punches. And, you know, do do some pretty good damage towards this Verizian. But because we have a shield, we... Oh, we are going to be having to make a decision. Do we let this go or do we shield? We decide to shield, and they actually have Reggie still in the back as well. So all we have to do now is um, make sure we leave with a Leaf Blade possibly, but we're switch locked right now actually, so we're just going to chip away at this thing. Let's see if we're going to leave with the move. Okay, so they didn't allow us to leave with the move. Ideally, we were supposed to leave with a Leaf Blade and then switch out into the Reggie. Now we're just going to go into the Reggie. We know we can survive one Focus Blast. So we're not worried about this first one here. We, we actually might have to um, catch a move because we are at 100 energy. We're going to have to completely undercharge this. Hope that we can farm it down. Unfortunately, we cannot. And now our opponent is forced to make a decision. Are they going to throw their charge move or are they going to farm us down? So GG's to our opponent right there. And uh, we got we got the uh, the Reggie there to take care of um, some of the flyers, but unfortunately the Gliscor uh, would would be resisting most of the Reggie still moves. So oh that that team uh, that our opponent was using was kind of a weird situation for us to be honest. All right, Needle Queen Shadow Needle Queen versus Shadow Charizard here. Um, here we are doing some decent fast move but they're also doing some really good um poison poison jabs at us we decided to let the first one go and then we're just gonna um throw this dragon claw because we know that we can get to two dragon claws essentially at this point we're just um, trying to get some shields so we did get one shield and then we were farmed down and now we're gonna have to invest a shield i think um we do get the Earth Power Shield, which is great. And then here, we're just going to throw this Focus Blast right before they get to a move. This Focus Blast will be able to KO unless they shield. And let's see what's in the back. So far, this Reggie with some energy is decent. Okay, they end up having the Scrafty in the back. They actually have the double Dark type in the back. So, unfortunate for them, we do have the Verizian and this is GG's. They don't have anything for this Verizian. Unfortunately, their best counter was that Needle Queen. So we ended up making the right decision and basically just playing out the, the lead and uh, either soft losing or getting at least one shield. So that team is, look out for that team. That team is pretty common. The Needle, the needle Queen with the double dark types in the back makes sense. Here we have another de uh, big dependent matchup. Of course, Cobalion potentially could have stone edge but we could potentially have blast burn so it's just a matter of who can call the baits or who is going to make the um correct shield we actually shield the the stone edge which is awesome and then they actually switch into the mandibuzz luckily we have a counter to it which is our register our only counter to it so we're going to be able to get this zap cannon off eventually it will not KO, so we know that whatever happens here, 
we're, we're going to be able to get a ton of energy. And at this point, I think we're just going to farm to 100 and then throw a move. Because we don't have to worry about any single move that this Mandibus is going to throw at us. We actually end up throwing only a Focus Blast because potentially we could farm it down. And if they allow us to, we will be able to do it. So they actually just throw a move and we're going to be able to get a ton of energy. We might even have another move by the time it gets farmed down. So it actually, they actually made the, the, the swap out. Does They don't allow us to farm. And then we're just going to throw the Focus Blast because we know that um, they want to keep this alive because they switched in. So we decide to switch into a Vrizzian, which is a pretty good counter to the to the Cobalion. We can do super effective damage to the Cobalion, but the Cobalion cannot do super effective damage to our Vrizzian. So we're just going to throw uh, right before they get to their next move. And we'll just hope for the best. Let's see what's in the back. We had the, we, they showed Mandibuzz, right? And they showed Cobalion. And then now they reveal that they have the Giratina. So unfortunately this Verizon that we have doesn't have Stone Edge. So we're just going to throw um, and try to switch out here in perfect. Luckily our Shadow Charizard was close to a Dragon Claw. And because we have one shield, we should be able to take care of this pretty easily. Even if this is Ancient Power and they get the boost, I think... We were able to get to um, at least one more Dragon Claw. And then if they had that boost, we still had the Reggie still in the back there to potentially throw the Zap Cannon. So Juju's to our opponent right there. We just had a little bit better team alignment against that team right there. Once again, that Mandibus coming in, we only had Reggie Steel. So that was that was clutch with the Reggie Steel. That Reggie Steel probably was our MVP for that last match. Taking down the Mandibus, forcing them to switch out. And then getting a shield when they came back in. Here we have a terrible matchup. We're going to go into our safe switch of Reggie Steel. They decide to stay in. So this is interesting. Reggie Steel. And they're staying in. So I don't know. Okay. So now you know why they stayed in. They are actually kind of weak to this uh, Reggie Steel so far that they revealed. This potentially could be the double charm. Or maybe like a, a flyer in the back or something. Uh, fortunately, we don't have to shield anything for now. But if we think that there's another Charmer or another Fairy type, we actually want to keep this Reggie alive. So well, that's what, exactly what we're trying to do. We're just going to switch out and um, basically try to sack this Charizard if we can. Because we know we don't really have to shield anything from this Clefable. Plus, I think it was already debuffed, so... This is, this is one of those situations where this uh, Charizard is just going to get sacked. And it looks like we're making the right read here because they came back into the um, Empoleon. Luckily, we already had a move. And that did a huge amount of damage right there. So, they're not quite at the move yet. So, we're going to hope that we can farm it down. And that's perfect. We are able to farm it down, get some energy. And it is indeed the double fairy. So, this team right here is... All about the fast moves that our opponent is literally just um, charming and waterfalls. And luckily the Registeel was kind of a core breaker and it kind of disrupted their plan. And then here we're just going to make sure we, sh we shield and don't get our move odd. Let's see if we can do it correctly here. So we, we threw the Focus Blast unfortunately. This Focus Blast... We had to undercharge it because they did catch a move. So unfortunate for us. And now it's just a race to the move. And we actually get it because we got that extra little farm from that Clefable. So GG's to our opponent right here. Check out this team and let us know if you enjoy the video.